What's going on, everybody, and welcome to the other side of the firewall podcast, where we talk about the latest and greatest in cybersecurity news, as well as we highlight those movers and shakers and glass ceiling breakers, those people of color who've made it to the other side of the proverbial firewall. My name is Ryan Williams, and as always, I'm joined by Shan Times. What's up? What's up? What's going on? So welcome to Friday's episode. So uh, Monday and Tuesday are our topics. So on Monday, we covered the, uh, the the LinkedIn hacks that are currently happening. So definitely check that out so you can figure out how to secure yourself from uh, from potentially happening to you. Uh, Tuesday, we go into the uh, is it Intel's downfall, AMD inception, vulnerabilities that are out there and impact billions of products and people. So definitely check that out because uh, you're probably one of them. So not to scare you. <laughs> And then Wednesday, we discussed um, how uh, uh, nation states and things of that nature, like big hacking groups are starting to come after uh, the people who out them, right? So journalists, uh, researchers, things of that nature that that find the bad guys and protect people are now targets uh, by hackers. So definitely check that one out pretty good discussion uh thursday should be there should be an ask assist p up so definitely check that one out uh, i haven't recorded it yet so it's well not advertising it yet but you'll start to see it on linkedin and all the other places right you'll see the thumbnail and all that good stuff if it's going to happen this week but if not then it'll definitely be next week uh and then today's episodes everything else so uh, if you tuned in for cyber stuff you're not getting it <laughs> getting a whole lot of everything else though so with that being said shannon how's your week Man, you know what? I didn't have a lot of entertainment this week. Like it was busy to where when I would get off from work, um, I'd have to go run some errands or we'd, mm-hmm. we'd do something as a family to where I didn't get a lot of uh, TV watching, uh, game playing in. Uh, it's to the point now where that's mostly on the weekends anyway. I did purchase Madden because I got a challenge. I got a challenge from somebody at work uh, that, that wanted to get at me. And <laughs> I don't know if it's going to end well for him. It hasn't happened yet, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm not talking that's, about that's, that's how confident you are. It's not even I'm, cockiness. It's just like I don't think it's gonna I don't I don't I, think he's gonna get what he wants. I just I just don't. <laughs> like he he could be sandbagging me and like he's one of those pros that's in like the top 10 of the leaderboards and then I get stomped like 70 to three or something like that, but I doubt it, right? Charles Barkley has a book, <laughs> wrote a book that said I might be wrong, but I doubt it. That's all right. I mean right now. You know what I mean? That's, but, that's terrible. And I I'd say that I want to play you, but I'm not challenging you. <laughs> I'm, I'm not good at Madden. I've never been good at Madden. Ever, but I haven't purchased a Madden since 07. Like you'll see if you look at my account, like somebody does some some uh research on me, you'll see a bunch of Maddens, a bunch of years. That's not me, that's junior. I don't play Madden. <laughs> but I did buy it because Josh has it on, on the cover. Like it's it's Bill's uh it's featured Bill centric, right? Like I had to get it. It's in the house. I've that's the first, that's I'm, the I'm first kidding. time, too. That's the first time they had a bill on there, yeah. right? So like it's, it's it's historic in that in that sense, you know. Yeah. Gosh, I guess the only other time would have been uh, Jim Kelly, right? That was the last time we, we've had. Uh... You've had other great, you've had other Buffalo greats, but like, it's just one of those things where, you know, they just haven't made it to the cover. Yeah. You know what I mean? Your Thurman Thomas is Jim Kelly, you know, Bruce Smith, you know. Right, right. Same defensive player, like he could have been on the cover, right? But yeah, I mean, just, I don't know. Um, but I did purchase it. I'm not thrilled with it, man. I don't know. I don't know how many games you've played, but it's it's glitchy. Um, the I've graphic- seen some weirdness. Yeah, I've yeah. seen some weirdness. But I thought that was just Madden, right? Like, there's certain. Was it Tiburon Studios? There's certain like Madden. Madden has no competition, so Madden does not have to uh, work those things out, right? You're gonna buy it because it's the only show in town, at least for the next. I, I don't remember how long they bought the license last time. Actually, I think it's up for. I think it's after this year. I think it's up for grabs again. Like so I, I used to want 2K to come back and and to uh, to get it. So what? Who is that? That's that's not Take Two. Who? Um, oh man, I can't remember the, the developer off the top of my head. But um, they were getting at them. Like so, I remember having on the Dreamcast. That's how long ago I was playing playing a 2K game uh, that had football in it. So I had it for the Dreamcast. They were selling it for cheaper than Madden, and it was better than yeah. Madden. And then that's when um, EA uh, purchased the license for the decade. Right to to push out the competition, uh, but now I'm not feeling 2K. 2 2K will will monetize you to death, uh, so I don't want them to necessarily be the the rival to Madden because they're, they're just gonna they're just gonna uh, monetize it. Do you so? Let me ask you this: Do you think they'll do the same thing if they get their hat back in the arena? So if it's no longer an EA exclusive, right? Yeah. If, if the NFL says no, we're gonna open it up. We're gonna allow competition. 
do you think 2K would start with that? Like they do with the that they do with the basketball game, or do you think they'd be like, okay, we gotta switch these people over to our side, so we're not gonna do the whole, you know, uh purchase this VC to do this. Right, and, right. So. Like your your person comes into the league and they're trash. So you have right. to purchase all this VC. Like, like how'd you make it to the league and you can't trip? That's my <laughs> question. Like, why do I have to put all this currency into you? It is super frustrating. Like I for all those who who may uh not know how it works. Like if you wanted to uh, to create a player, you have to use VC. You can earn it over time. It takes forever. Like it'd be hundred years before you get your your player to being good. So you have to go purchase uh, their currency in order to put the points in to make the person better. Uh, it's a racket. That's what it is. It is very frustrating. So that's why I don't play it anymore. But Junior plays that as well. Uh, and it's it's beautiful. Like the two K looks amazing. They do an excellent job. Uh, it's polished. But they monetize you to death. Like I'm, I'm tired of being in this world of monetization. Just charge me what the game is worth or what you want to make off the game. And I get that's not realistic because some people will spend hundreds of dollars versus me who will spend no dollars. I just buy the game. So you got to find that balance. Um, so I'm not knocking their hustle. I just I'm not going to participate. So my fear is that they will jump straight to it because like everybody's going to it's going to be a wave of people who are going to flood to go play 2K's version of football over over the tired of Madden. Like Madden has not, like I'm playing it right now and there are a lot of new mechanics. Like, like what, I feel they're gimmicky, right? Like my QB has a high, very high rating. Why am I still playing around with uh, his, his his pass abilities, right? Like why am I timing my passes and all that stuff? Get, get out of here. <laughs> but um, I have not seen the evolution. Like it looks the same to me. Like maybe I'm spoiled. Like I know, I know it, it has a performance and a uh, graphics mode. I have it in performance. Uh, so maybe that's it. Maybe if I bump up to graphics mode, it'll look prettier. But it just looks okay. It'll look it'll look prettier, but your your frame rate will slow down some. Yeah. So I'm like, just like you exactly. you would want performance over graphics in a football game, but I want both. I want you to look nice and play well, right? So I know it does the 120. My television does not do that. Um, however, so I had to, I would have to hook it up to the game monitor. It's not worth. It. I'm not playing Madden that that skillfully where I need to to have the best. Uh, uh, frame rate possible. So, so here's something to think about as well, though, right? So, like when it comes to 2K, like 2K looks beautiful when they have basketball, right? But that's only doing ten players on a court at one time, right? If you do football, it's twenty two at a time, right? It's like, can you can you make that translate? Right, right? that fidelity. To, yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. It may it may come down and look like Madden may have it at the tip top of what you can do when it comes to development. You know what I mean? But because they're the only ones doing it, we're like, ah, that looks like crap, right? Like if 2K comes out and it still looks like the same, you'll be like, well, right. that's, that's all you can do. So, and I'm not a developer, right? So I don't, in my mind, I'm just like, ah, they do bigger and better worlds, right? Like, so they should be able to uh, uh, make the players, right? Because you're only getting so much of them. You're getting, you're getting hands, arms, and the a portion of their face, depending on what type of helmet they like to wear. Um and then your job will be able to make everything super shiny. Like I want all the rays of light bouncing off of the the helmets. I want the pads to look like they're moving like real people because these these people look weird. Like uh, uh, Junior pointed out to me, RJ was like, "Yeah, they're they tried to make their shorter pads more realistic, and now they all look like aliens." And I was like, yeah, "You're right, huge, yeah." They do. They don't look right. Like I don't know what what they were trying to attempt to do to it, but it doesn't look correct to me. And then there's a lot of clipping. Like I see players run through players. All the time, like arms go through chests. I was just like, why is your collision so bad? They they get it right in, in fighting games. But again, you're saying fighting game only has two characters versus, or two to four characters, right? Depending on what you're playing, versus 22. So I, I get, I, I hear what you're saying, but then I play Zelda Breath of the Wild. And I'm just like, if Nintendo can get this right, this humongous sandbox, you can do a stadium. But but even with that though, right? It's it's not that many people moving at one time, is it? Or maybe it is. I, it's, I don't. It's it's so, it's right? it's, a, it's a lot happening. Like th it shouldn't be able to run on the, on the switch. The switch should melt. So I'm just like they can get this right on a on a a, a PS5 or or a, a Series X or S, right? I, th I think they can do better. I honestly do. I get that their their turnaround time though is ridiculous. Yeah, right? it's a one year. They only have like ten months yeah. to, to ship you a brand new game. Uh, that, and that's that's and that's why I I I know it's not feasible because they, they wouldn't make as much money or they would have to find a new way to monetize. I get that there would be a shift in the market because you legitimately should just be working on engine for a couple years and just updating the rosters. 
because it doesn't look that much different. Like, just give me an updated roster, charge me 60 bucks or whatever it is. Like, oh, we had to add in stats and we had to do yada, yada, yada. Uh, but you don't have to do anything to the game for the next two to three years. You get a whole game cycle to give me a new engine and new, that performs better as opposed to every 10 months, you're just making slight tweaks and either the defense gets better or worse. The offense gets better or worse. I don't know. I can run the ball. I cannot pass. And I've, I'm going through all the, the, the training camps and whatever. I'm throwing six, seven picks a game. Uh, my, my son keeps just saying, that's a bad read. You shouldn't do that. That's a bad read. You shouldn't throw it. Like, Where should I throw it? <laughs> I don't get it. Like my QB's rating is super high. Like I could take off a run with Josh Allen. Uh, the run game is straight. If I throw it to a receiver who is not completely open, if they're completely open, they will catch and they will run. If I throw it, they're just mildly covered interception every time. Mildly covered. There's just a there's just a defender in the area, in the bubble, and then they magnetically lock onto the ball and float over there and catch it. I've I've, I've only played like one and a half games. So like I haven't I haven't got the experience you probably have on it for this year. But yeah, and you have that that annual, like you you can you can see it, right? You're in the matrix now. You can see the changes <laughs> that they've made. Like for me, it is a leap. And it's like, a, it feels like a leap backwards, like 07, feel, like in my mind, right? I'm romanticizing 07. 07 played better than this. Cause I'm just like, every time I throw, every time the ball's in the air, it's interception. It's just like, they're that, they're not that good. There's no, there's no way possible they're that good. They're just magnetically locking on and floating over and catching the ball. RJ might just be that dude, man. I think he is that. I think he is he that. He might dude. be that dude, man. Yeah, I think he's that dude. But even even when I uh when I play the training camp game, same thing. And so here's the thing. I'm gonna ask you a very uh rookie Madden question. I do I need to have an all Madden? Because I have an all Madden when I when I, like so when I choose my level, I put an all Madden because he because he he might be hustling me. He says if you put it on anything less than that, they're gonna your your players are gonna play dumb. Not necessarily, no. Because I, I don't play it on all Madden because it just gets ridiculous sometimes. Like the stuff that happens, like, and, and it's been a, a few years. Like, is it making, I, am I making it harder on myself or am I making them more competent? Is the you're, not, you're not making yourself more competent. You, you're just making, you're going to frustrate yourself into in the not playing anymore. Like you, you don't have a real love of it to where you'll just keep going and you'll keep doing it. Right. Yeah. But like on all Madden, like stuff that there's stuff that would happen to where like I would, I would be throwing interceptions for guys that aren't even tracking the ball. You know what I mean? Like it's not even like they're backpedaling and looking around. Right, right. They just magically just flip around and flip. Yeah, like if you just turn around and catch it before, like, you know what I mean? Like that's no, that's not a thing. Like you're not even looking at it to know that you should turn around and just catch it and then go the other way with it, right? And then just break break three or four tackles on the way to the pick six. It's like, come on. Really? Like this is what we're doing now. You have to do that to him You have 185. Josh Allen was stiff arming it. I I literally just shaking people off. So he was just stiff arming people. Like my run game is straight because that's it's most it's the most gamified version of it. I've been playing games for four decades, right? So I get these mechanics. I'm just like I can I can juke, I can spin, I can hurdle. Like I was hurdling people. I was just like I like this, but you can't run the ball every play. And then as soon as I as soon as I throw it, as soon as it's in the air, interception, pick six. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's just it's for me. I yeah, all Madden is just so I need to turn it down, and cheap. that will hopefully improve me. Try try all pro, so like try all pro. Okay, get the hang of it, and then go back up to all Madden. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because like, the because the, it's it's I, the I don't understand what that means. Because like he like because we both pick our our own difficulty basically. At least I believe it to be difficulty. So he picks all Madden, and I pick all Madden. Uh, and I'm not getting as many interceptions and what have you because I don't have that skill, right? Like the the it's the ball's in the air, tap B or whatever your your version of it is. Uh, and then I now I pick what I want to do with it. Either I take over the defender or I hit Y for a chance to intercept, X for a chance to swat, A for the engage and tackle, right? And like my dudes are just like jumping the wrong way because <laughs> it, it's it's pretty frenetic. It's pretty fast. Like as soon as that ball's in the air. I have to make so many different decisions so quickly. Um, but then on the opposite end of the ball, like I throw the ball in the air and like, it's like, 
I I get the read. I see like, okay, like Diggs is going this way or Davis is going that way. Whatever I pick, I feel the ball, the ball goes in the air, interception. So if I turn it on to all pro, do you think the ball will have a chance to get there? I think no. it'll be better. Like so if, if RJ is correct in that you're just making bad reads, then you're gonna have it's on me. Happen. Yeah. Right. It, it, like it's it's your decision making. But the thing that'll happen is that like you may see better on all pro like what they're doing so like you have to start doing like the motion and things of that nature to see what the defense is doing like you gotta you gotta look at the game to say okay if he follows him across the field that's man right so he's yeah. going to follow him wherever he goes if he just goes to the end of the formation the other guy goes across somebody else has to come out to catch him that zone right so you know that yeah. there is going to be an area of responsibility for them don't throw to that area of responsibility right and you don't know it right but like if you play enough, and again, you're not playing every year, right? So you don't know the cover twos and cover threes that they're doing, nickel blitz too, you know, things like right, that. Right, right, right. You don't know those things that are happening to where I know this is their area of responsibility. And even sometimes with that, like when I'm playing, like the last two years on Madden, this is what frustrated me so bad, is that if I tried to do like um, a defensive end rush, it would take the person like without me controlling them, they would follow the motion of the defender that I'm rushing with. Like they'd all of a sudden, oh, they just mirror you. Like two, yeah, they cover for like hmm. two seconds, and then they start going into the backfield where my defensive guy is. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, why are you doing that? Like, I can't, I can't control it. I can only control one guy at a time, right? So it got to a point where. I was just not using the defensive line to rush in and get the sacks because every time I took control of one of them, like, and it was always the person that was being thrown to always the person that was being thrown to, they would come out of coverage. Like they just, mm. you could have a receiver or a tight end wide open. I'm like, what is going on here? That's weird. Yeah. yeah. So like he hate, he hates when I play on the line. Cause like I, I'm getting really good at uh, the, the rush, right? And, yeah. I'm getting real good. He was like, that can't be fun for you. You should be out there. Like you, he was like, you should be a middle, uh, uh, Linebacker. linebackers whatever like you should be going for the ball that's the fun part that's what he does and yeah. he does get a lot of picks i'm just like ah but i i don't have that skill yet so i i'm just like nope i'm gonna i'm gonna be uh i'm gonna be von miller that's yeah. gonna be me <laughs> yeah. and I, I was getting at him he was getting so mad because he, he's playing as he's playing as uh baltimore yeah. oh he was like he was like lamar Jackson's supposed to be faster than this he's supposed to be faster than this how come you always get catching, in here he ain't catching lamar that ain't happening I, I was coming i was getting in there i was he getting at him either either i was either i was the the, the the sack or i was getting the cp time to get in there and get at him yeah because like, i gotta be able to hold the line for longer than, than two seconds yeah he's getting mad he still he still came back though like i was up i was actually up at one point it was 14 7 i was like oh i might actually be able to land this and in the fourth i threw three picks <laughs> one in the end zone <laughs> Oh man! Oh man! Uh, so welcome to Madden Podcast. <laughs> we'll yeah. talk, oh man! <laughs> I'm, I might get some time in the day, and the guy that challenged me at work. I, and, and if I'm being honest, I only bought it the day it came out because he challenged me this weekend. He was like, "Oh, I'm gonna get at you the second, third. And I was like, "Well, I can't, I can't turn this down." You know what I mean? <laughs> you so spent the, seventy the, bucks. For, yeah. for for one is I, I'm gonna play you though. It's gonna happen. I, 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 I get it every year, right? But like I, I was gonna wait this out. Like I was not even looking at any of the reviews, like any of the any of the new features or any of that for yeah. Madden 2, because I was so frustrated with last year's version. I was like yeah. I, I was just like, I'll get it eventually, but maybe I'll just wait for it to go down. Do they have the X Factor stuff in, in last year's version too? Yes. I kind of yeah. like that. That's kind of cool. I don't know how to really use it all like that. Like I I because I'm throwing so many picks, Josh Allen never gets hot or whatever to get it. Right. But Von Miller did, so yeah. he was able to do some 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 cool stuff. And then at one point, Diggs did, uh, so he's able to uh, to to separate and coverage a little bit better and things of that nature. But you have to build up to those things, and if you're throwing a, a pick every drive, that doesn't happen. So yeah. <laughs> there's that, right? If you got so dig, I, if you got Diggs with the X factor, that's what RJ figured out. Dude, you're just throwing the Diggs every time. <laughs> So I tried switching it up. So I, even the announcer was like, okay, yeah, he's, you know, he's giving it to more receivers, yada, yada, yada. The announcers get on you, though. Once you start playing bad, they just keep they just keep digging at you. I'm just like, how do you cut these guys off? <laughs> how do you how do you cut them off? Because they're they're not helping me. They're 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 uh, blown. It used to be like 2K where the coach would start yelling, believe in yourself if you're blowing out the other team. Mm -hmm. they, you're like, believe in yourself. <laughs> get a man. <laughs> just yelling out randomness. Um, but so it, it's, it's fun. I'm going through the training camp. I'm, I'm trying to get the mechanics down. Uh, 
it's just like, man, I, I just, I, I will look at, I'll see something. I'll be like, okay, my receiver is open. This is my last Madden thing. My, my last Madden complaint. My receiver is open. He's getting some separation. Like all this is happening in like two, three seconds. I'm going to hit the, I think it's right bumper for you to, to throw it up high. And then that, that defender just magically jumps 12 feet in the air, pulls it down. You'd be like, how sway? <laughs> That super jump stuff is ridiculous. Yeah, I'm I'm not a fan of that at all. I don't know why. Like, uh, you your see hand, my hand raised? Your hand raised, yeah. <laughs> it did that by itself. Yeah. <laughs> weird weird but, glitch. Yeah, no, that super jump thing it became annoying. So, like, last year when the game started out, or uh, when it first released, I should say, um, the stuff that used to annoy you with the super jump and the not looking and getting an interception, that stuff was not in the game. But every time they did a patch, like those old things that were annoying would come back. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you you did not start with this. Don't incorporate it now. Like it would just come back into the game. And I'm like, what is going on here? Right. But yeah, so we'll see. I'm going to keep at it. Like, um, because I did make the investment, right? Uh, I So I had a gift card for my, for my birthday that I used. I paid like 13 bucks. But um my intent is to to get at least better to have fun playing with uh with rj um so i'm gonna continue to go through the camps which he makes fun of me he was like nobody does that they just jump into the game like listen i i literally do not know what i'm doing i haven't played for almost 20 years (laughs) (laughs) um but aside from that uh so you've been playing Madden. You see you did you watch anything did any anything uh i've i've watched i watched like a couple episodes of suits and it was like late i think i fell asleep on them because like i go to the gym early in the morning so like i'm in bed like earlier than, than than most so uh like i i did not get to watch too much um uh, one day last weekend i started up uh horizon again uh played a little bit of that but i think i'm getting to the end i think i'm like 70 some okay. through the main story like i've gotten to the point where the stuff that's the side mission stuff now i don't really want to do you know what I mean? I don't want to do the right. grounds and I don't want to do the hunting grounds and all that. So I'm like, all right, let's get through the let's get through the main story. It's the main mission. Yeah. So I, I I'll I'll finish that before I gotta finish it before Spider Man comes out because once that comes out, I'm not playing anything else. Right. Right. <laughs> like too. Yeah, and that looks impressive. Like every time I watch a video, I'm I'm about to go into media blackout because now they're, they're giving me too much. Right. Yeah. <laughs> they're trying to hype you up. Like I, you already got me. I'm gonna buy this one. So, yeah. um. I will probably stop looking at any new footage for that one because it's it's going to be a day one purchase. Um, yeah, and I'm and I might get the deluxe version or whatever they're calling it. Like I'm, I'm looking at different stuff that's offered. Like it's the the different suits, different web catcher, something or other, like tools and okay. whatnot. I'm like, yeah, I might maybe I'll put a hundo down. I put a hundo. Yeah. This is getting more and more pricey. Like, but I. Like if that's everything, right? Like, don't give me more any more DLC after that. Like that DLC should be included. <laughs> Charge me what it's worth. And I say that, and I'm looking at uh, Mortal Kombat already. I haven't bought a Mortal Kombat since I can't remember when. Like I admire it from afar. Like if it comes free to like a Game Pass or a PSN, I might download it and play around with it. I've never been good at it. I just I just like Mortal Kombat. I like the lore. Mm. Uh, but then it started getting very convol. I, I just I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know who these people are. Like you're adding characters and you're you're doing stuff. So it's a reboot. So this this gives me hope. I can jump back in. Um, because I'll never be good at it. I just like how pretty it is. The fatalities are ridiculous. That's always fun. But now the lore goes back to whatever this new timeline is. So I get to learn it as everybody else gets to learn it, right? <clears throat> and I like that. Like uh I, I see the roster is strong, they have a lot of uh cool characters, they're doing a lot of cool things. It looks like it'll be fun to 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 play, but I'll never master it. Yeah, which is fine. Like, and they, they even they even have a baby mode for fatality and stuff like that, so you can still get those things without having to tap all the buttons. So I'm like, okay, I'm down for it because I want to see all the different possibilities and stuff like that. So when you say a you said a baby mode for fatalities, like yeah, where you don't have to type in the, the complicated code. You know what I mean, like the the left up down a b all that stuff perfectly to get it to happen like there there's some uh i think you like you either squeeze two triggers or something like that hmm. okay so they, they've simplified it for people like me who don't want to remember all that crap like i just want to see it right i've earned the i've won the fight i've earned the ability to do this thing just give it to me so i'm down for that um i do i do remember that like if you don't get it 
quite correct. Like when it's time for the finisher, yeah, you just kick off. Punch. Yeah, and then it's over. It's like oh, <laughs> I thought I had the combo. Give me a couple chances, you know. Right, right, exactly. So like they they worked on ways to improve that. But the the DLC thing is like they've already shown some of it, and they're gonna have like, um, what's my what's my man's name? Uh, from Omni Man. They're gonna have Omni Man oh, and. Yeah. They got uh, what's, the, what's the name from the boys? Is in yeah, there, you know? yeah. So I'm just like, oh, that's, that's kind of cool. Like, it has nothing to do with canon or whatever, but that'd be kind of fun to play with because, uh, last, last go around, they had like Rambo and a Terminator, so stuff like that. I, I always thought that was kind of uh, cool that they incorporate that type of stuff just because why not? Yeah, so I, I'll definitely, uh, I'll probably purchase it. I don't know if it'll be a day one, but it'll definitely get, get bought at some point uh and then starfield's coming out so i've already preloaded that that's like 100 gigs already on my uh my drive i can't even play it's just sitting there holding up space waiting waiting for that day one so i'll probably play that uh and then zelda like you said you need to mainline it i'm doing everything but mainline in zelda i've unlocked the entire sky map the entire ground map and now i'm going through the caverns trying to uh unlock all that stuff and I, I've watched a couple of videos of end game stuff that you can do. And I'm just like, I'm never going to accomplish that. There's certain bosses I'm never going to fight because <laughs> it's like, that's an hour long fight. I'm not doing that. Uh, but it, I I already know where to go to mainline the story. So I'm just going to do all the, until I get bored of all the other surrounding stuff. And then I'll mainline and I'll finish it. But I have a hundred hours into it now. And I've only done one mainline thing, I think. One or two mainline things. And I've done three out of the four no two two out of the four um dungeons so and, and it's just it's fun to just walk around and do cool stuff in zelda but i I look like again i look at the, the late game stuff you can do where um there's certain enemies that take forever to fight and there's there's literally a dungeon where you have to fight five of them i'm just like i'm never gonna do that <laughs> i'm never gonna subject myself to that it's not gonna happen um what else did i play so i played that i uh i downloaded alan wake i have not played that yet uh at some point i'll jump on that because I, I do like that game i just never uh got into it and played it and beat it um i watched a couple shows so like i watched uh start foundation on uh apple tv really good shows uh based on a, a book by uh asimov um it's one of those situations where the show is smarter than me so it's not I don't have the, the the satisfaction of figuring stuff out before it happens. I just have to go along for the ride because I, I don't know. I don't know what the hell is going to happen. <laughs> They're talking about the future, talking about the past. There's it's a lot happening. So I'm just watching it, uh, getting through it. Invasion's coming back. The trailers look promising because that show was boring first season. But the trailers look like it's going to jump off action wise. Like it's going to be just like a battle from the get go. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um and what did I finish? I finished something. Like I didn't finish uh, Star Trek yet. Like I'm marathoning Discovery. I'm I'm on the last season. I have a few episodes left. Uh, really good. Like I'm I'm sad that it's going to come to a conclusion. I'm going to jump off that into Picard, and then I'm going to jump on Brave New World. So I'm going to go for the full experience uh, before I get there to Brave New Worlds, which I hear is very promising. Uh, a lot of people like it. You like it. Uh, Michael Weir. He's he's talking about he likes it. Uh, I know I'm going to like it. Like I said, I watched like two or three episodes. And I was just like, this is really good. But I, I got to get my, through my back catalog of Star Trek stuff first. So I will tell you, there is a musical episode they do. In the uh, yeah, I, I, I saw the reviews. Like A lot of people were like, it was okay. <laughs> yeah. If you like musical stuff, I mean, people would love it, right? But I'm I'm not for that. Like, I just, you're ruining it for me at that point. Gotcha. It, gotcha. it was a decent enough episode, but yeah, no. Nah. Got you, got you. Well, yeah, I'm I'm definitely gonna get onto it because uh, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Uh, this this is like uh, Star Trek Overload. There's so many different shows. I'm not even gonna start Lower Decks. That's not gonna happen. Um, maybe, maybe I'll go back, but I doubt it. Um, there's another animated thing like by uh, was it Dan Harmon? He has like Solar Opposites, which I need to start back up. Um, and then obviously Rick and Morty, uh, but he has one called Strange. I think he's just a producer on it though. What's called Strange? strange planets or strange planet or something like that uh, i watched the first episode last night it made me chuckle it's very dry humor uh i don't know exactly what's going on but it makes me think that uh aliens took over earth after we died off or something like that because 
they're mimicking human behavior, but they're they overanalyze everything that they're doing. So like nothing's called the right thing. Like uh, instead of a cat, it's called a a vibrating creature. Instead of a dog, it's called a moral creature. Um, and they they're they're doing human like things, but uh, like the one uh, character, I think the first one was like um, she was a flight attendant, but she was called a a comfort supervisor. And like she comforts people, so she gives them uh, uh, relaxation squares, which are pillows. She gives them uh, mild poison, which is alcohol. Like it's it's like very literal things. It's so it's kind of funny to me. But I'm just like I don't know where the story is going. You know what I mean? But like, it, it feels as though they're gonna at some point explain where humans went uh, because it, it seems like they're just mimicking human behavior. So that that's kind of funny. I don't I don't know if it is definitely not something I would recommend. Like it's, if you, if that's the type of humor you're into, it seems as though that's where it's going. Like a like very literal dry humor, then that might be your thing. But I wouldn't be like, oh, this is hot, because <laughs> not. <laughs> um, and then uh, there's a a movie, there's a horror movie called a horror comedy movie called The Blackening. I've been waiting to to hit stream. I think that's gonna it's gonna be for rent this week, so we'll probably watch it this weekend coming up so the next friday or saturday i'll probably have to watch it so we could talk about it on the uh, on the podcast um i don't i don't know if it's gonna be good but it's gonna be funny so like the the trailer alludes to it being pretty funny like because it's it's stuff they're, they're going against stereotypes right so like they they all arrive to a cabin to play a game have fun and whatnot and then obviously it, it there's a twist where somebody's you know making them do things and in it they're talking about the things they shouldn't do they're like hey like we're, we're gonna have to do it. And they were like, don't say it, don't say it. And he was like, do what? And he was like, split up. And everybody's like, oh man. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. Like, it's like, we have to do a bunch of stuff that's atypical to the culture to get through this experience. And so I was like, okay. Like the one dude, like at one point they were like, you have to pick the person who's the blackest, uh, like it's out of context. Like, uh, you don't know if they're talking about skin color or, or cultural wise. And the one dude was like, it can't be me. And they're like, why can't it be you? And he was like, I voted for Trump. And they're like, what? And he was like, twice. And they're like, ah. Oh. <laughs> so I'm like, this is going to be funny. So is it a spoof movie? Like comedy then? It's a comedy. Yeah, it's a comedy. Okay. okay. So, but it's it's an all black cast in a horror movie. So it's going to be funny. But I I just, I didn't go to see it in theaters because it came out during a time where there was a bunch of other movies. And then I was like, I'll wait till his stream. It's been taking forever to hit stream. Uh, so finally it's for rent. I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll pay, I'll, I'll pay five, six bucks to, uh, to finally see it, uh, to, to check it out. So I'm, I'm down for it. And then aside from that, man, uh, teaching, uh, uh, my oldest to drive. That's a, a fun experience hair raising uh but she's doing a really good job actually way better than i was when i learned how to drive uh but obviously you know you're you're teaching the basics and going over the basics over and over again and florida drivers i have two stickers on the back of the car that say please be patient student driver big yellow stickers on this tiny uh uh mitsubishi mirage you have humongous pickup trucks still speeding past us on the driver's side they're like come on well, we're doing the speed limit <laughs> she's not afraid to reach the speed limit i so i have to check her sometimes but hey you gotta slow down hey you gotta slow down the limit is 40 you're doing 45 you gotta slow down they will fail you on the test uh and then just this humongous 250 will go by on the driver's side and give us the stank eye as they pass by doing 55 60 you know in a 40 like come on now you know you don't have to do that you know what, though? I think sometimes people just put those stickers on their car just because they're slow drivers, right? They don't necessarily have <laughs> student drivers in the car. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, you should not. But th like, this is people that are going way below the speed limit. Like, you're right. repeating traffic at that point, right? Like, if you're on a if you're on a, a main thoroughfare that's 55 and you're doing 42 in the left lane, like, I don't want to see your student driver sticker. Like, right, you, right. You know? I, and, I, and I get that, but we're not doing that. We're not even there yet. Right. Yeah. And these are like just regular streets. Like a residential is always going to be a 30. It's going to be 35. Right. Why are you doing 50 around us? Like, like, I think you're just doing it on purpose now. Like, you know, you just, you're just being a, a jerk. And and truth be told, I don't take, I don't take off the magnets. That's too much work. I'm lazy. So if I go to run an errand, I just leave it on there, but I'm doing the speed limit stuff like that. And people leave me alone. But when she, whenever she's in the car, there's always at least one person that does something erratic. Um, 
I'm just like, ah, man. Like, you legitimately could cause her, like, she's, I, so far she's been good, but, like, what if you caused her to panic? And then now, now both of us are on the side of the road and, and you're mad at me. He was like, oh, this, this person should be doing better. Like, you should be doing better. Like, you should be a good citizen. <laughs> But I don't know, man. Maybe the early exposure to that will make it to where, you know, she's this is the stuff she'll experience when she's out there on her own and she's getting it now. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that, that's true. So yeah. like uh, uh, yesterday, like today, we'll probably do the same course again. Uh, but yesterday I took her to the to her high school uh, two ways. Here is the the longer route uh, through the residential. It's going to take you 15 to 20. The speed limit is, you know, residential speed limit and it's kind of curvy. So you got to watch the the, the curves. Um, and it's a school zone. So if you leave late, you're going to get caught in school traffic, but it's slower. And here is the uh, five to 10 minute route that's on the state 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 road uh, where they do. It's supposed to be, uh, I think the actual posted speed limit is 55, but people around here do 65, 70 on it. Get there quicker. But there's 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 two lights and uh, the second light is a <clears throat> a flashing yellow arrow. I don't trust it, right? Uh, so I took her both ways, and we're gonna do it again today. I'm just like, I want you to know how to get here both ways, but I want you to take the the one you feel most comfortable, right? I'm not trying to, to uh, force her to go one way because because school zone is it can be just as bad as the other one, right? Like kids are crazy, like you got backpacks everywhere, people running around, uh, being crazy. You got uh, uh, crossing guards that get mean. I had a mean crossing guard the other day, like. <laughs> Didn't yell at me, but he yelled at the car in front of me. Uh, he, so he's it's it's like uh, retired uh, law enforcement typically, right? And they're they're directing people to go through lights because it uh, the school will back up. So in order for keep the the flow of traffic, even though this light is red, he is blowing a whistle and he's pointing at you know lanes and telling them to go and other lanes telling them to stop. So he's he's working on one side because it's a three way three way intersection. So he's working on one side and the lady in front of me decides to creep because she, she has a, a, a right hand turn to get into the, the school lane, which is already being backed up. So she's trying to sneak in there. So she sneaks in there and he turns around. And he notices, oh, he's blowing. He's on, he's on his whistle. <laughs> he's, he's doing hand gestures. He's like, you listen to me. Like he's like screaming at her window. She's looks so awkward. <laughs> I'm like, you mess, you mess with the wrong crossing guard. Like, I didn't think they did that, though. Like, I thought crossing guards just, like, they got out in the intersection with the stop sign for, to let children cross. I didn't think they would be directing traffic like that. Yeah, he, he like, does it because weird. it is a three-way. So, it, like, it'll, it'll back up real bad, and it'll cause uh, uh, crazy congestion. So he has to make sure that the school is able to let out so that way they can feed more cars in. And for whatever this 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 year, man, everybody's taking their kid to school. Like, cause I guess because last year the the buses were so like first they couldn't find bus drivers, and then secondly, they were always late. So my kids, my older kids were uh sometimes waiting at the stop for 30, 40 minutes waiting for the bus to show up. It was real bad. Um this year, spot on. Like from day one, bus is always on time. They have enough bus drivers. So I don't know if they're paying more or what they worked out during the uh during the, the summer season. But I think everybody already planned for this to be a nightmare. So now there's so many more cars on the street. So like every day I go to either I have to be ahead of the traffic to drop them off or we're going to be sitting in traffic like a mile will take 40 minutes. That's how bad it's getting right now because everybody's out there now. It's crazy. Like put your kids on the bus. I say that and I'm not, I'm not going to put my youngest on the bus. <laughs> Put your kid on the bus so my kid can get to school <laughs> right. before the bell rings. <laughs> I know last year the buses were crazy overcrowded here, man. Like children weren't even in seats. It was weird. Um, oh wow. Yeah. So uh there I mean my they were going to public school at first and then we weren't thrilled with that. So we sent them to private and then but but we were still getting the messages, you know, from the school district because we still subscribe yeah. to their app. Um and the people in the neighborhood, we even were talking about it. Like their children are sitting down in the aisles. I'm like, how can you do that? That's a safety thing if they're not in a seat. Right, right, Granted, right. you don't have seat belts in a bus, <laughs> in a school bus. Which right? always blew my mind. Yeah. Yeah. I know, right? Like, like, why is this okay? Yeah. Isn't it click it or ticket? Like, what's going on? Here? Right. Now, school <laughs> bus. Just, just the driver, I guess. I don't know. But um, yeah. 
it's it was it was pretty bad but so uh my wife ends up driving them to school which they're in the same school now um this year so um seems to be good after the first week but we'll see as time goes on right yeah when, when the winter weather comes and things like that Colorado winter, not a Florida winter where it goes down. Yeah, I was like, gonna say like like when, when it's cold outside, that's it <laughs> <laughs> for two weeks. It's cold for two weeks. <laughs> you know, y'all are wearing sweaters in fifty degree weather. I'm like, yeah, they're degree. out there in their in their Uggs and yeah. like and the kids wear like I don't, I don't know if it's the same in Colorado. Like uh, unseasonably, kids here in Florida wear hoodies year round. So hoodies and sweats year round. So uh, I'm just, it blows my mind. Like you go, you go past a bus stop or whatever, everybody's in hoodies. And you just be like, but it's 85. <laughs> in the morning, you know what I mean? Like, y'all just, just going to be in class musty all day? Like, what, is, what are y'all doing? Like, <laughs> it's fashion, man. It's fashion. Hoodies. That's just what they rock. Hoodies and sweats. You're right. And Crocs. Hoodies, sweats, Crocs. Like you kids look like bums. Crocs do seem to be like getting popular again. Like I thought they faded off, but like I've no, seen... like they a resurgence. Like everybody's wearing Crocs. It was the same thing in Turkey with the with the young dudes. Crocs. I was just like, yeah, I wear Crocs now. And then you go to the store, you know, Crocs cost 50, 60 bucks. No, are you? Yeah, wow. yeah, that's how much Crocs cost. Like I we're getting old because I'm like, dude, this is dumb. I remember the movie Idiocracy. That's where Crocs first like debuted on the main screen. And then I watched a uh, making the behind the scenes or whatever. And um, the one guy was asking, I think it was the director. He was like, why, why did, did, did um, uh, design or, uh, you know, the, the people who actually put together the, the clothes and all that other stuff. He's like, what are these? She was like, oh, I found these, uh, these shoes. They're called Crocs. She was like, um, they're idiot shoes. She was like, so that's why we put on the characters. Like, there's, there's no way these are going to take off. These are dumb. And then now look at it. <laughs> Crocs are selling for 50, 60 bucks. Idiot shoes. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's funny. That was, that was the historical take that they had on it. And now look at it. Like, are we, are we, are we mimicking idiocracy or were they just wrong? Or is it a combination of both? Is the, the question. Are they idiot shoes or are we idiots? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Some of the stuff happened in the world. I'm like, yeah, idiocracy is here now. Like, just, yeah, uh, President, I uh, wasn't President Camacho. Camacho, hot, or, yeah, it was a wrestler, right? It was, yeah, he was a wrestler. Yep, wrestler. You know, that that's our future. Because <laughs> yeah. we would elect, we'd elect the President Camacho, yeah. but uh, we're getting into politics. So that's the end of the show, people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for tuning in. Uh, uh, again, Monday, Tuesday are topics. Uh, Wednesday's discussion. Check out what we have for this week. I think it's pretty good. Uh, Thursday, Ask Us SP should be up. Uh, Fridays, everything else. And, uh, you know, look to see the show uh, expand and production and go up and all that good stuff because you guys are a dedicated fan base. Continue to share us, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, and double double yourselves. Like, find a person you know would like this show and then tell them to watch the show and subscribe. And then hold them accountable to watch it and listen every week. <laughs> well, I just need every person to find one person, and we will we will uh, definitely blow up from there. So, uh, hit up all the websites that go by our name. You give me a person. I'm at Ry Ry Security Guy. That's R Y R Y Security Guy. I am on LinkedIn, Clubhouse, Twitter, not X, <laughs> and Threads, kind of, because who's really on Threads? Uh, hit hit me up, ask me questions, all that good stuff. We'll be on the show definitely uh, let me know. So with that being said, stay safe, stay secure.